you mamas my name is Tenley and welcome to my channel please bear with me the Sun decided to just peep itself through this little cloud here and now it's in my eye but I'm gonna go on with this video hopefully you can pay attention and not be distracted by this light today we're gonna to be talking about what's in my baby's diaper bag so those who know me very well, I am an overpacker. I love to pack things that sometimes people don't think is necessary until they need something like, oh, Tenley has it. I'm going to actually show you the diaper bag that I have. I can't tell you the name, M M Mufa, uh, sure, I don't even know if that's English, but this is the bag that I have. Um, has a little pocket here in the front that you can put bottles. I don't um, because Aiden is breastfed. Has little pockets on the side. If I open it up, that's pretty much what it looks like. It has a pocket here, two pockets here, two pockets on the side, and it's pretty open. But my favorite part of this bag is it actually opens at the bottom here. Just like that. So you can actually access it and there's a zipper in here. And it's actually through as you can see it's through the bag so it's a quite convenient bag i love this part because if i pack anything underneath instead of having to take out everything from the top i can go straight to the bottom here and just pull it out very convenient i'm gonna actually start with what i pack at the bottom and then make my way up to the top i like to pack the things that i may not be using every single time at the bottom and then the most used items i put at the very top one of the items that i pack in aiden's diaper bag is this little traveling kit so it has um and i'll link some of these items below obviously from amazon has a brush has a toothbrush for when he does start brushing his teeth when his teeth come in comb um nail clip so very important to have nail file the safety scissors to you can cut or you can use that on his nails and as you can see this little um syringe has fallen out but this is also in there. So it's a, it's a pretty decent kit um, for traveling, especially if you're going on vacation or something and you don't want to carry some of these items for your child. It's good. So this is going to go at the very bottom because I don't use this often. The next item that I'm actually going to pack is I have towels. And in these towels, I have rags in the hood of the towel. I'm going to tell you it's very important if you want to stay a little bit longer at a friend's house or whatever and you have this get your your baby ready for bed put them down to sleep when you get home you just put them into their crib put them into their bassinet and they're good to go so i actually have two sets of these because you never know if the baby makes a mess as well you want to quickly bathe them right the next thing is clothes so like i said you know, if you're at a friend's house and you ever want to put your bed, your baby to bed on time and you happen to still be out, you obviously need their night clothes, right? So I have a pair of night clothes for him here. I know my husband will say he's not really fond of this pattern, but oh well, it's, it's clothes for Aiden that I can't complain about. So, and obviously always bring a change of clothes. I always have two pairs of change of clothes for Aiden in the bag. Today he had a little accident, so I only have one right now, but I'm going to go pull out another one to replace uh, for his bag. So I always have a long sleeve and a long um, pants, and I also have, especially with summer, a short sleeve and shorts. The next thing that I always pack are blankets, receiving blankets. These are so important um, because if, you're, if your baby's going to be held by somebody else, you want this. If you know your baby is spitting up a lot for whatever reason, you have this um, just to cover yourself. And even in the car, if it gets chilly, always have these to kind of cover your baby from the wind, in the car, in their car seat. Um, receiving blankets can be used for so many different things. So, And also, if they fall asleep somewhere and you want something to just throw over them, you have this. Especially summertime, it's very light. Wintertime, I, I normally pack a blanket in the bag as well obviously because it's winter and in case it gets really cold then you have it like one of the thicker blankets but for now because of summer and it's, it's hot we have these receiving blankets and i always have two receiving blankets one may get dirty you need another one for something else right now what i do is i have two receiving blankets in the bag and i have one in the car as well the next thing i'm going to talk about not a lot of people think about having this in their bag 
and I thought it was just so key especially if you have to change your baby in a bathroom for example you know the changing tables if you use one of those if you're changing them in the car like regardless of where you're changing them I think this is very important we actually have this little pillow we had bought it for him for when he was just born you know to help to ensure that he doesn't get a flat head but we realized that it actually works for when we're on the road. So instead of him, him putting his head on a hard surface, you don't want his head to go on a hard surface. So we actually have one of these and it's so clever. I just put it on the side of the bag and when he's ready to change, I pull this out. My favorite thing, and I don't think there's a lot of moms or dads that really consider these, are these changing pads so you know the usual changing pads which it has a velcro you just close it and you put it together you can wipe it off and reuse it i don't necessarily like those for traveling with especially if your baby has an accident and there's just so much poo to wipe up um i just like to get rid of it so i use these changing pads so this is what this changing pad looks like it's disposable changing pads um, I will link these down below, but this is, you can tell this is a little bit crumpled, but this is what they look like when you're finished with them. You kind of just crumple it up and you throw it in the garbage with a diaper. I normally have about six of these. You don't know how many times your baby's going to change, um, through the day. You don't know how many diapers they're going to have. So have six of these just in case. Important things, important things, diapers, you need diapers. <laughs> diapers are very important. I currently only have six here. They were used today, but I have 10 on hand. Typically they say your, your baby should be having six to eight wet diapers a day and two poos a day. That doesn't always happen, but I like to say worst case scenario, you have 10 diapers, you never know what happens. If we end up having to stay somewhere, we have diapers. My diapers and my changing pads, I put at the side of my diaper bag. It's just easier to access rather than kind of piling them on top. Um, and as I go on, I, I'll tell you where I pretty much keep everything. It's just easier to access. Um, but everything so far in terms of that kit that I had, the receiving blankets, the towel, the clothes, those have all been packed on each other. And then the pillow that I showed you is packed on the side. On the side of the bag, not in a pocket, but just on the side of, of everything that I've packed so far. A couple things that I think are also important is... I have, I think I've mentioned this before, I started off with the Aleve Natural um, body soap and body lotion for Aiden when he was just born. And they also had the traveling kit, the traveling pack. So we're not finished with the traveling pack as yet. They're, they're almost pretty empty. But once this is done, then we'll go over to the brand that we're using now, which is the Live Clean. We're currently using this brand now. And I do have the traveling size as well for this but want to finish these first before i move into these so these so this is the ha hair and body wash i don't know if you can see that hair and body wash and then this is the sleep easy calming lotion so these are they have the daytime one and they have the nighttime one these are the nighttime ones because we typically bathe him at night anyways so we have these in there but we also have the daytime so this is just the moisturizer um and the soap is i think the soap may have been finished for the daytime one but this is what we have right now these i put in a side pocket also very important we have the aleve naturals sunscreen for aiden because when we're leaving the house you may forget to put it on but at least we know hey we're outside in the sun let's get this on his skin that's going in the same pocket as everything else He's never had a diaper rash, but just in case, you know, the diaper cream to put on him. What I also want to mention is my son is circumcised. So when he first got circumcised, the one of the key things they always said is make sure you put some polysporin on his penis and use uh, Vaseline. So I still have polysporin in there. Not that he needs it anymore, but hey, just in case something comes up, we've already had it in the bag from before. So if there's any cuts or anything, we have it in there as well as Q-tips because we didn't use our fingers to put it on. We put it on the Q-tip and put it on the area that it was required. So I never took these out. You never know when you'll need them. And they're small little items that's not taking up space. So I'll put this in another pocket. Like I said, we have the regular Vaseline. Um in case we need it, but what I prefer to use is the non-petroleum jelly by Live Clean. I know my husband likes using this. I think it's just 
because he grew up using it he does but i prefer this but we have them both in the bag socks 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 right now my my son goes out without anything on his feet um it's summertime it gets hot he doesn't need it but if he ever needs socks we have them in the bag sanitize <laughs> sanitizer it's so important clean your hands and sometimes you're gonna have to change a baby's diaper in in a moment where you don't have access to a sink so because you don't have access to a sink you gotta make sure your hands are clean before and after so sanitizer is so important i have this in my diaper bag we have a big bottle of sanitizer in our car and i also travel in my handbag sanitizer so you have it everywhere especially with covid you don't want to play with this so make sure you have the small ones or the big ones um for traveling in your bags i think these are so key so i recommend getting some of these amazon some of you have maybe noticed but my, that my son has a cast on his foot and for the cast we have sleeves so if he poos himself the poo doesn't get on the cast itself it actually gets on the sleeve so once it's dirty we'll just take it off throw it in the trash and then he has this to replace it so it's he's always clean now for me i have one of these not this exact one um, but I, I have some type of nipple cream or nipple butter almost everywhere in this house and in almost every bag. Obviously, when you change a diaper, the other thing that you need, wipes. You need wipes. These are the wipes that we use. We use Huggies um, diapers and we use the Huggies wipes. They are the special delivery wipes. So this is what we prefer um, for Aiden and they've been working perfectly. So what I actually do is I put these at the front of that bag. So the bag where I said you can put the bottles and stuff, we use that pocket for our wipes. So we have the Huggies wipes. And there's a whole bunch of other wipes that I actually use as well for Aiden. Oliva Naturals, as you can tell, I am very fond of them, have different types of wipes for different types of things. Call me excessive, fine. My first child, fine. But this is what I prefer. So... They have these bamboo wipes for pacifier and toys. So I have this in there. They also have hand and face and we use the hand and face so often. When he's spitting up all over his clothes, when his hands are dirty, we pull these out and we're using these. Like it's, it's so convenient. Tooth and gums, he has not had to use these as yet because even though he's teething, he has no teeth. Um, I've probably used it once or twice just to kind of clean out his, his mouth after a split up, a spit up, but I don't use them very often, but I still have a pack. And these, this is nose and blow. He hasn't had a cold where he's been like uh, snotty or anything, but again, who knows when it's going to happen. If you're on the road, if you're not on the road, I always carry a pack of these with me as well. So those are, that's it for my wipes and all my wipes, like I said, I kind of keep them in the same place in front of his bags. This is key. This is, this is actually broken, but what this is, is diaper bags. They're portable diaper bags where when you change your baby's diaper on the road it smells when they poo so you want to be able to have something to kind of conceal that smell you just pull out a bag open it put the diapers in there and then you can either throw it in the garbage on the road if you see it or when you get home just throw it away so it's it's like a diaper a walking diaper genie and i keep that at the side of his bag washcloths or rags or just whatever you want to call it cloths i find these convenient just to have these in the bag Every now and then I pull these out to wipe up something for Aiden, um, but I think they're important to have. And I have, I normally have about six of these. And one of the last items that I will, I don't have it with me because I had to use it, are plastic bags. Because when your baby messes up their clothes, whether it's from poo or spit up or whatever it may be, because if you put the dirty clothes on top of all the clean clothes that's in there, what's the point? And then do you want to just walk out with it in your hand? I don't want to, and I don't think you should either. So I don't think I'm missing anything else right now. I know we used the bag earlier today and I'm trying to remember if there's anything that I had to restock on that I don't remember. And if I do, I'll probably just make a comment somewhere in this video. But for now, that's it. I want to know what you guys put in your diaper bags. Leave comments down below and let me know what you put in your diaper bag, what you think I should be adding to my diaper bag. I won't be taking anything out of my diaper bag because believe me, even, even though it may seem like it's excessive, it has all come in handy. I've used everything that I've put in this bag at some point in time. But let me know what you guys put in your diaper bag. I'm, I would love to know. Maybe give me some inspiration on things that I should do. 
Um, there's actually a diaper bag that I saw advertised where it has a changing, um, like a changing pad in the diaper bag, which I think is so clever, but I think I probably wouldn't use it as much. I don't know. Does any, any of you guys have that? And, and do you, how often do you use if you actually have it? Well, I hope this video was helpful for your everyday diaper bag. If you have any questions or you want me to address anything else, don't forget to reach out and I'll do a video just for you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, mamas.